All right, here we go. One, two, three. Come on, people now, smile on your brother. Okay, here we go. So here we are, we're back again with Project Babyface. Now this is episode four of a series of tests that I've been doing to see if I can get decent facial motion capture data out of the iPhone 10 to be able to use it to bring to life all the crazy baby characters in our wild VR game called Babylon. Now, it's been a lot of Sundays since the last test, and to be honest with you, I've barely had a Sunday or two since then to put towards the facial capture stuff, but nonetheless, there's been some pretty cool progressions that I'd like to share with you guys. Now, the first one being, drum roll, official Apple blend shapes, everybody, finally. So thanks to a super cool developer who extracted them and sent them to me, I was able to use them to generate a whole new set of blend shapes for the baby character. And that's basically what you're seeing right now. So what's up? Mm, yeah, baby. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Anyways, yeah, so here we go. Official Apple blend shapes, yeah. <laughs> Now, I thought that they were going to be a much bigger improvement over the ones I had. Um, but nonetheless, it's really nice to kind of have a ground truth basis and to know kind of like where this technology caps out. But there's still things that you can do. So for example, like what you're seeing right now is uh, me just in Maya scaling up the actual data from uh, the iPhone. And you, you know, you can kind of exaggerate on a per blend shape basis or the whole blend shape set. Record. One, two, three. Yo, what's up, people? Looking around, thinking, what am I doing today? I'm going to get medieval, probably. Well, I don't know. I think... I laugh at some people because they think they're so good, but um, they suck. I take them down like they're nothing. Chop liver, you know what I'm saying? Wah, ha ha, sucker, peace, baby. Other things you could do that are pretty easy, that'll make this look better are like, you know, better wrinkle maps, because the ones I have aren't that good, um, and I only made a few. You could take some of the blend shapes right into ZBrush and uh, exaggerate them there. You can add like, you know, character corks and, and different kinds of expressivity and uniqueness for the characters. You could do like, um, you know, sticky lips, which would help a little bit. You could do um, like blood flow maps. You could do, you know, with this kind of a character, probably some some soft body dynamics, you know, for the cheeks. Um, but I'm not gonna have time to do any of those things, unfortunately, not for any foreseeable future. But what I do wanna do for the next test is I wanna take the ISCO rig, which is basically a really cool service where you can like upload your character's head model and they spit it back to you, you know, fully rigged and, and ready for facial animation. And so what I've done is I've taken that rig and I've blended it with the 51 blend shape setup. And so the test I want to do now is I want to capture a performance just like this using the XN suit and the iPhone 10. You know, I want to pull it into Maya and basically animate right on top of the data to see how quickly I can push the uh, expressivity and personality of the character performance beyond what the iPhone 10 can do by itself. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, how that's gonna work out. And so that'll be the next test. Now, the next thing I wanna share with you guys is um, an actual use case example of 
using the XN suit and the iPhone 10 combo uh, to generate real content for our game. So in the Bebelon world, every level has like a band or an MC or a DJ, basically some babies that are performing the level music. So as you're playing, you know, and you're, you're putting the smack down on the other babies, the band is kind of like rocking out the music uh, right there in your VR space. And it's really kind of cool. Now, one cool thing is that, you know, I was able to bring this whole band to life uh, in barely an afternoon. Um, and so what you're about to see is like uh, all the raw data, straight from the iPhone, straight from the XN suit, um, no cleanup at all, save for the kind of the super ghetto instruments. Um, you know, I didn't realize that the XN suit, they give you a, a prop node to attach to props for, for just this kind of thing, but I didn't find that until after the fact. So I had to ghetto these instruments in my eyes. It was pretty bad, but anyways, um, take a look. I hope you enjoy it. It's pretty cool. Um, again, it's too super rough around the edges, you know, but um, as a quick first pass, uh, I think it's pretty cool. All right, babies, let's get this match on the road. We are the Brass Knuckleheads. Thank you, thank you. You guys are the best. That's it. Peace on out, everybody. Peace on out. Peace on out on the inside, baby. What's up? Yeah, baby. <laughs>